Oh, you did my first one, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's good. Yeah, sure. It's okay. I've just been told that it is, um, I am receiving the vaccine. Uh, there's a small group of people at the start that receive the vaccine to be checked on any, any reactions, uh, effects, but uh, as far as I'm aware, everything's going, going okay, everything's fine. Uh, before the lockdown, I was very much had a mask. I was washing my hands. I was being safe with where I was going and just you know watching the news reports and what what's happening. Um, and even now, it's just carry on as normal the best you can. And there's no difference to how I behaved last time apart from masks, washing your hands, uh, forming queues, more queues than normal. Um, I, I I think even even knowing that I've got the vaccine doesn't make any difference to the fact if it was a placebo, if that makes sense. I'm just taking part, so. Everybody has seen the statistics uh, around how COVID has affected BAME communities. And I think it's really important that as a, a team working on a, a vaccine that we respond to that. So, so far, we've been really pleased to have support from our local community. And uh, amongst our volunteers, one in five are from a um, BAME community, which is really great and um, you know, is representative. And what we want to do as we build our research and go forward into larger trials is to continue getting that support. I don't think we're targeting specific communities. What we're trying to do is to make vaccine research available for everybody so that when we have a data set um, that we're looking at in order to understand if the vaccine is performing as we think it is, that we're able to do that in a way that is then generalizable so that people um, can be vaccinated as part of a public health campaign. Yeah, it's not, it's okay. very clear that um, more severe disease is seen in older people but we don't yet know why and I think that's also the same for um, the BAME communities um, and it's very important that we do take a dispassionate approach to that and one that allows us to um, understand the problem 
and then we can deal with it. Oh, yeah. We've heard from so many of our participants how COVID has affected their lives, uh, often in very difficult ways. And, um, and from the many, many people that we meet as part of the vaccine research, you know, many more than we, we were able to enrol on the study. And I think that personal experience will certainly change people's um, understanding of, of infection and also how it's prevented vaccines being a very important strategy. I saw how serious it was so I you know it was a serious thing and it is still a serious thing so uh, I, I won't go out my way but I'll also follow the rules if that makes sense so I, I think it's if you're comfortable with it do it and I'm comfortable with what I'm doing now and if it comes to later in the year and there's another lockdown or I have to change my travel or I have to change my visits I won't be going away this year. There's no holidays booked. There's no anything. It's it's all just do when it can be done. Really, for me at the moment. Okay.